just me and Mr. Pay to Win Danny. I will wait here until we find a match just to get you. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Already? Oh. Yep. Can you find him? Oh, not yet. I killed Danny. Let's go! Five hits and you're dead. Leland's in the main house. Bruh. There's a trap at the battery. How's he not dead? How's he not dead? What the? He must max out his health. Maybe. This is gonna be easy. Oh, I killed Danny. You I see. Come on, that's Danny. Leland is, uh... You should have never came here. Aw, oh, shit, man. No. You're not getting away. Not pay to win, Danny! Let's go! Pay to win, Danny's dead! You thought? Hell nah! Don't care that you escaped, as long as Danny died, that's all that matters. Danny, when he first released, seemed to be pretty okay, considering how long it took for him to tamper and gain knowledge. But now, since the whole entire world has him at level 3, he can literally just sprint around the map, one tap things for knowledge and just pretty much permanently open an exit. Like I've had plenty of games where Danny has the valve or fuse tampered within like 2-3 minutes and there's nothing family can do about it. The only other counter family can do is literally just uh, tunnel him. I've been tunneling him every single match. Like if I see Sunny or Julie and when I'm chasing either one of them and I, and I end up seeing Danny, I am going to switch to Danny and tunnel him. I really don't care about anybody else, so his ability is really too OP which is causing the match to end quickly. The only other time that I would not end up tunneling Danny is if I'm chasing Connie already, but that's very rare. The funny thing about this is that Danny was actually leaked like several months ago, I think when the game was in beta. And like in the description it said Danny has the ability to tamper items therefore unlocking escape exits for good. And people were complaining in the comments that whenever this gets released, it's going to be overpowered. And for some reason, the developers just ignored this and still kept him in the game and wanted to release him. Like, everybody knew everybody knew back then this was going to be OP and they still kept him in the game. This is how you know he's paid to wit and the developers just want people to keep on buying him. Then once enough people have bought him, they're going to nerf him. It's going to happen. His ability is just poorly thought out in general. It's totally just all or nothing when he, where he specifically either gets to an exit and keeps it open for ages. Everyone leaves out of that and family is just annoyed, pissed off and usually leave the match and I don't blame them. He either gets jumped by the family because they don't want to put up with him, which I agree. And that's because his ability does nothing but mess up the entire match. His stats are really great too and like, but his ability is just really dumb. Like, I don't know how they're going to nerf him because, like, a lot of people already spent money on him and they're going to be pissed off, but this is what the developers get for doing this. Danny also has the best stats on the victim side. High toughness and with high proficiency. Both of them combined, which are much better than Connie or Anna. So he can also tank hits and unlock stuff very fast. Like, your only option for actually, like, winning the game against Danny is to actually tunnel him. If you don't tunnel him, once you heard that basement fuse or the valve go off, it's most likely Danny and the and he tampered both of them. And what usually happens is that your teammates just quit the game, and I don't blame them. Once you heard that thing go off, it's game over. There's nothing you can there's nothing you can do about it. Talk about balance. Like look at this, ready? Connie's toughness a 20. Her proficiency is a 35. Now let's go to Anna. Anna's toughness is a 35. Her proficiency is a 20. Look at this, ready? It's either one or the other. But with Danny, his toughness is 30. His proficiency is 35. So his base stats on the two most, most important stats in the game are pretty high. Like, and it's basically Anna and Connie combined in one. And they're just the base stats. 
you can literally upgrade them and be a tank machine or just a proficiency of machine or literally just both. Like, it's crazy. His, his base stats are insane. Like, with family, you know how it is. He can permanently open an exit. And as victims, I feel like he does the dirty work for you. Like, isn't it more fun as victims being chased and doing it yourself with, like, teamwork? And not relying on an ability that can just ruin the whole entire match? Guys, look at this. Andy, one of the community managers for this game. We're continuing to take in internal data and we're monitoring things with Danny. Just as we do with everything. Okay, understood, understood. This is two weeks ago. That's fine, two weeks ago. He posted uh, a reply to a comment yesterday. Discussions on Danny are currently ongoing. We'll share more in a little bit down the road. Like, bro, are they serious? Danny and Nancy have been out for a few weeks now. And even just by having Danny for one, one week, they can tell on the data on him. Like, what's happening? What do they gotta fix? It's like, it's almost a month. And they're still saying, oh, we need to gather, gather more data. Information will be revealed down the road. Like, this is obviously pay to win situation they want a lot of people to buy danny and just for him to be nerfed later on one of the main problems with this game is how long they take to do patches this danny thing is insane right now and is driving a lot of family members out the game including some of my friends let me know what you guys think down below about danny because personally in my opinion he is pay to win